Right, <clears throat> welcome to this uh, installation tutorial on uh, how to install the uh, FFXY uh, Caddy. Uh, you'll have to excuse my English, I'm uh, only Norwegian, <laughs> so uh, I hope you understand. Uh, okay, let's take a look at the, um, uh, how to install. Um, first of all, uh, go to this uh, web address here and you'll have to download two things uh, well first of all let's go to this uh, sub menu on this website development ffx y caddy and then <coughs> you have two downloads uh, the the top one is the main installation it's the it's a c sharp application that's uh, that's gonna display your map and uh, some something like uh, you know app radar uh, and uh, and similar uh, map uh, programs and then we have the um, the caddy provider that's a window or add-on which will also need to ins be installed uh, in order to um, like get player data the the positions of players and npcs and what zone you're in and so on uh, that's a that's a window add-on we're gonna install it manually now hopefully it'll uh, come with the uh, with the standard uh, window add-ons uh, at some point but uh, for now I'm just gonna show you how to do it manually so before uh, we start um, um, we're going to take this uh, the main application first we can run this without the provider so um, it'll, it'll just show up without uh, without data, uh, really. So uh, let's try that first. So we download this zip file, and once we've done that, we just we take that zip file and go to a prepared uh, place. I just made a a directory called stuff on the uh, the main uh, partition of my hard drive and just copy the zip there extract it like so and that's it really you'll see uh, the uh, the um, there's a new directory that was made here for me ffxy caddy and this one contains all we need really so in order to uh, uh, to start the caddy, we just double click this file ffxycaddy.exe and just run it like so. And it starts by locating maps in the Final Fantasy uh, installation directory. So uh, it should be pretty uh, good at that. Uh, uh, to find out what uh, installation directory you have uh, so it should uh, work for any client hopefully if you get problems with that we will uh, we'll take a look at uh, how to fix that uh, anyways let's get this out of the way you'll see you also have a Windows security alert here uh, this program works by um, uh, making so uh, well, uh, uh, TCP IP calls to the uh, window uh, on on the same machine. So it it won't go into the network, but it will uh, it will uh, it will use socket calls on your uh, on just your computer. So uh, uh, anyone uh, certainly may do virus checks on this uh, uh, application if they if they want to. Um, uh, so uh, in order for everything to work, you have to allow this access. Okay, so uh, we'll see. You have the main application here; it's up and running. Uh, <coughs> Uh, you'll notice that there is uh, non, no provider here. So <coughs> uh, 
Uh, as of now, it doesn't know where your character is in the world or anything. I actually have a character in the world. Uh, here we have Green Shoe. He's uh, in uh, what is it called? This zone again, Western Adeline or something. Uh, so he's in the world, but we have, haven't got any data from it yet. So that's where the uh, provider add-on comes in. Uh, anyways, I'm, I'm I just just for the concept, I'll, I'll just show you that you may actually use the caddy without uh, installing the provider. You can, for instance, uh, and this will be explained in a later tutorial, uh, add uh, map met me uh, metadata. Uh, like so. Uh, for instance, I can make some justifications to any map, really. Alta Pazone, I can go, and, uh, let's say, create some sort of a zone uh, line here that uh, goes into, I don't know, what's that uh, city called again? Uh, it'll come to me in, me in a minute, I guess, but um, uh, so you see, you can actually uh, do stuff in this program without having a provider. But uh, that's uh, where things get interesting in anyway, is when you have a provider. So let's start installing it. Uh, and you can just, just leave this one open and let's have it stay on top, just in, so we, so it will all be, so we will all will see it. Okay. And let's also, uh, let's also take off the map metadata thing. Let's just erase all metadata and reset all sounds. Okay, so <coughs> um, right. So let's uh, start installing the provider. So we go to the website again. Actually, I'm gonna move it, um, and we download the provider. So, what we do now is we just copy the provider, or actually, I had some problems unzipping directly into the add-ons folder of uh, Windower, so I am gonna just extract it here, and you'll see we have a folder here with a Lua file and a README file, uh, and just move this folder, or copy it, actually, into the Windrover. Uh, let's see, where's that one? Into the Windower add-ons folder. So I'm just gonna copy this into the Windower add-ons folder and you see there is no, no one here from before. So it's fast CS find all. So I'm expecting an FFX I Y <laughs> caddy provider to turn up here. And there it is. So let's go back to <coughs> That's actually it. You have installed the provider now. That's that's all that needs to be done. Hopefully this will be, like I said, uh, become st standard or uh, come with the default uh, window add-ons. But we'll see about that. So uh, let's see here. Uh, right now we have the um, the caddy here, and we have my character Green Shoe here, and we can just to load the plug uh, the the add-on which is going to provide us with the data just do lua load ffxy caddy provider in the um, window console this is uh, probably a um, uh, at some point you you you'll uh, probably have this load automatically on startup so, uh, but uh, if you if you don't, you have to manually load it like so, and just watch uh, the provider here and how uh, the caddy reacts when you uh, when you start this plugin or add-on. I mean, sorry. Right. So you see, uh, the provider was a uh, green shoe on the Leviathan server, so it. <laughs> the way FFX Caddy works is that it it's uh, when the first provider logs on 
it's it's going to switch to that uh, right away so but you'll also see that uh, uh, and we'll we can test that right away I guess uh, is we I have another character called lucky church and for this character I'm just gonna do the same Lua load FX XI carry provider like so and you'll notice it's still on a green shoe uh, because he's in Western Old Old Lynn and Lucky Shirt is in uh, you know Alta Pa Whitegate or something like that. <coughs> so if you want to switch to uh, Lucky Shirt here now, you can just go into the settings that will be explained uh, in another tutorial as well. Uh, but you, here you can see you have both a green shoe and lucky shirt to choose from. So it chose a green shoe because that's the one that, that was loaded first. So, But you can easily just change to the lucky shirt here and you'll see a uh, familiar zone here, uh, white gate. And all the NPCs surrounding uh, uh, the lucky shirt uh, character. Right, so uh, that's about it for the installation. Uh, thank you.